for whatever reason, my room is showing up as red. Um, which I'm guessing is, uh, because the camera's fucking off. Because, uh, it's not supposed to be, but I am making this video right now because I have everything that isn't needed at for tonight off of my computer um it's uh i did a bunch of cleanup and i quit all the programs i don't need on and um i'm probably gonna restart it in the morning and the reason is because there's a delay and i know that there could be a slight issue with um that could be motherboard psu related the problem is is that it's from power outages, so I can't do shit about it. So, I might have to power cycle it. I don't know, but we'll see. So, I have gotten almost half of my carpet cleaned in this particular screen space. It looks horrible on camera, and it is that bad. From this angle with this crappy lighting, um, it does look horrible, but... We have a lot of animals. There's mud that gets tracked in. Um, my shoes are not new. These are not from today or something. Um, I don't even know if I can clean the mud off my shoes. But I'm wearing shoes because I'm carpet cleaning. And I'm not the type of person to um, not wear anything. It's like, why would I do that? Um, so, I just refilled the carpet cleaner. and Because uh, I ran out. And I'm taking a break while it sort of loads in because it does take a minute or two so if you start it right away and try to you know whatever if you're doing a rush job it doesn't do anything um and uh a lot of the spots on this floor um are going to need some spot remover and sit for a while which i'm gonna do i can't move my desk chair out which i'm sitting on by the way um we had to remove the cabinet from the end of the hall which is right here this thing um, we had to remove it from the end of the hallway to fit my chair in because it does not come apart or at least, um, like it does, but we can't get, you know, you know how the products have like the plastic rubber caps or whatever. And I don't even know if I can find any in lighting. Um, it's going to be upside down by a bit, but it looks like that. They're all like that, but they're like heat gunned on or super glued on. And because of the type of rubber and plastic that's used and all that, they ain't coming off. I actually injured myself what, a couple of years ago before I moved out the second time. Um, trying to take the chair apart so that I could take it with me. Um, which sort of blessing in disguise that I didn't because there was no room for it. I ended up using my bed as a chair the entire time I was in that apartment. Um, the chair doesn't come apart. So I... Uh, like, I literally almost ripped the end of my finger off. Like, not just chipped a nail or something, but, like, it was bad. It hurt. Um, there was blood. Um, so, this chair does not come apart. Um, unless I was going to be willing to destroy it to some degree. Um, I'm gonna close the door. Puppies are sleeping. Um, and she's a nuisance. Um, but the floor is messy by default. And this carpet cleaner works great. I am not saying that it's horrible or anything like that. It's just, you know, it's the process. The thing was, um, it's going to take a lot of time to get this carpet clean. I'm going to have to screw, um, get all the dust off that's remaining from the baseboard there. Um, I've already gotten a lot of that wiped down and stuff. Um, but I can't do a whole lot more um, without having the proper cable ties and stuff. Because none of these cables are, um, especially the ones that are below the power bar line, I can't act, I have no way of um, putting those up right now. I have no way of doing that. And because of my desk setup, which I will probably go over in this vlog just to shut people up, um, there is no good way for me to actually cable manage. And it doesn't really matter. Like, I have my, ignore that, that was from last night. I haven't been up for very long. I have my mouse going over the Xbox, slash between it and my PC to the back. Um, like it's 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 not the prettiest setup um but it works it's flexible i can move stuff around um and that's what i'm looking for especially since my power bar fell in last night i had to put that up watch the uh 
short on my channel if uh or the last one if you uh missed that but like even the snake tank stuff is very janky um it's literally being held in by a screw that has a massive washer attached to it that's just pressure holding everything on because um i don't have the right shit to do it i don't know where the um the ties went they're like big massive rectangular um cable things are like they fit like right this like in my hand like i'm not small by the way my hands not small it's they're, they're big ties they have massive like glue on them like they like they're not going anywhere when they stick it takes time and effort to get them off and i don't know where the hell they went i have a whole bag full and uh yeah so that that hasn't happened so i haven't been able to finish doing any of that hence the part of the jankiness but none of these cables are planned on staying here None of them are supposed to be like that. Still, last night I would have finished it if I could have. They would all be at least at the outlet line, if not above it. Because none of the cables, except for two, which is the Ethernet and the extension cable that goes for the snake tank. The extension cable is the yellow one, by the way. Those are the only two that are supposed to be below outlet level. And the Ethernet cable is supposed to be because I plan on using one of my um, cable runners along the bottom of the snake stand because nothing goes there anyway so it's not like it's gonna get wrecked or bumped into unless it's by a cat um and it's supposed to be running along here and you know to the router um so it's supposed to be along the floor but everything else doesn't need to be there um and i can get plenty of flexibility with them tied up like for example this black cable no that's the charger cable the black cable there that's got two zip ties around it with the white cable the white cable is my lamp which is up there because I have nowhere else to put it. The black cable is my mouse cable, which is right there. It's a long ass cable, but I don't have anything else to do with it. I would tie it off, except I can't find the goddamn ties and you cannot mount, you, you can't stick a zip tie to the wall using a singular zip tie. That's not how physics works. So I uh, haven't, I can't do that yet. So I, uh, I have told my mom, I'm like, yeah, it's 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 not going to be done today, but it's going to be done today because there's things that I literally cannot do because I cannot freaking find them and I don't know where they are. Because I've looked where they would be and they're not there. And I've cleaned up enough in here and downstairs where my, you know, temporary workshop is and stuff. I have, the only guess I have is the bin. And I don't know where the hell they would be in there or why. So... I, uh, unless it's, they ended up with a box of extra stuff because I was done cable managing at the time. Um, because I couldn't move the desk because it was stuck to the ground. Like, last night I happened to have the strength to actually pick the, lift the desk up enough to shift it forward, like, half an inch. And the thing was literally stuck to the ground. Whether it was in a rim because it's, you know, all that weight on the carpet and it just sucked down that much. Which, for the record, the indents don't look that bad. Or whatever, I don't know. But the, uh... I couldn't, I, I, the desk doesn't even move back. Like I moved the back like a quarter inch max and that's it. It's staying there. It's not out far enough to cause any more issues than it already is. The towel staying there because that's for my snake. Um, I have towels that go in there, in that corner, um, which yeah, I'm mounting, you know, the cables and stuff. Like they're going to be attached to the wall or the desk or whatever, um, to make it easier. But those are, um, there's going to be towels there because I don't want him going underneath the desk or behind it because there's shit there. But at the same time, he seems to be very careful for whatever reason. So I find that respectful, but I, it's electronics. I don't want to risk it. The only times he's ever, the only two times he's ever actually gone under my desk is when I cannot get him out from under it. Like he, he knows how to, he knows how to sort of hook himself and he is not, he's not a small snake. He's not big, but he's not a small snake. And he is not weak in the slightest. So, uh, yeah, um, I wasn't going to get him out of there. If he tried to hook on something, unless you were, anyone that doesn't know anything about snakes, their whole body is very, very rigid and strong and can also be very squishy. Um, they can fit through things up to, I think, I think mine can go up to like half his diameter if he really wants to. Um, and he can also be rock hard. Like you can poke him very hard and push down a bit. Nothing will happen. Like it'll hurt your finger. Um, 
So when he hooks onto something, you're not getting them out. Um, even just the end of his tail being hooked onto something is very um, hard to deal with because you have to unhook it properly. And if you give him any um, slack so that you can get a better grip, he'll use that to keep, um, he'll use that to tighten around more. So yeah, that's, that's why. Um, it's a losing battle, but I, uh, hopefully I'm going to get this done today. I'm not vacating my room or anything. It smells worse than the cleaner does anyway. It's not like I'm going to die from it. So what the hell? Um, but hopefully my room will be done today. That's the plan. Unfortunately, my tank is not going to be done today. It's going to be done tomorrow, hopefully. And that was supposed to be done a day ago. And that's never happened. This whole project is like a two days behind and that's because i had severe head pain because of how hot it was for whatever reason the heat is giving me you know when you have a you're sick or whatever and you have the head pressure and it feels like your head's gonna implode or whatever that and it's not like a headache it's almost a headache but it's not a headache i had that for like the last three days you're not functional you can't function when you're dealing with that so um i'm trying to keep it cool today um, and, uh, you know, not end up like that because my bed's full of stuff. I know I need to empty my garbage, but it's stuff I've collected from everywhere in my room. I'm trying to clean it up more. And the garb and the recycling bin, by the way, which is my garbage and recycling bin because I sort it out afterwards because I don't put messy things in it. Those go straight to the kitchen. Um, that was full before I started doing my room again. So I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not a garbage person. But hopefully shit will work out. This floor is so bad. But it's, you know, there's animals in here. And one of the cats was not well whether she got attacked or she got very lucky last night. And in the um, adult sense. And um, she was so, she, and she was just that sore. She couldn't be touched. Um, uh, and she was staying separated from the others. Um, she didn't even let me know, and she ended up, um, letting go underneath my desk, so I had to clean that up, which is another reason why I had the carpet clean today, because I'm not dealing with that. Um, so, hopefully she ends up staying fine, but, you know, this carpet clean is way overdue anyways. I clean my room regularly, like, it's every four to six months. The problem is, is that it's so small, it's so crammed. I have a bad back, bad ankles, bad knees. It is not easy for me to do this <laughs> um, with the space that I'm in. So I am, and for the record, I've refused to move out of this room for a couple of reasons that I'm not going to go into in this video. Um, so hopefully shit just goes well. Hopefully. I, uh, I'm trying to start new things and, uh, that vice actually needs to go downstairs. It's right there. I was using it for a project, but the project's irrelevant now for the most part, so I don't really... Eh! No, because I can... Here's the problem is that the chair that I have downstairs in front of my 3D printer is a very uncomfortable chair for someone with a back injury. So the vice is up here because while it would be much more, you know, sensible and much better to have it in front of the printer, so the second it comes off the printer, I can just sand the crap out of the thing. Uh, it does not work for my body. So, yeah, that's not happening. Plus, the desk is higher here, I think. It's also mounted properly. Anyway, I'm going to end this before I get tired. Um, hopefully, this all comes out well. Well, here's some behind the scenes, because normally I wouldn't record this stuff because I'm not a vlogger by naturality. But I found out why it wasn't picking up much. And it turns out, and for the record, before anyone says anything, it had nothing to do with how dirty my room was. Because as bad as my room was, it was not as not as bad as upstairs gets. Which was where I got the vacuum from. Because that was the last room that was used for this. Twice or three times in a row. Which is why it's this dirty. Um, and uh, I don't know where the, where the um, tool is comb tool thingy that um scraper that gets this stuff out and cleans the thing so i just went through it by hand there's a lot of stuck hair under there um that was literally globbed up no wonder nothing was working so um now it's full of that and empty there so uh or at least for the most part so um hopefully things will start working again because it was not picking up anything a minute ago 
Well, cleaning out the uh, the brushes as much as I did, whether it was a, most of it or not, I'm guessing it was most of it, um, was a uh, game changer. The floor instantly started having better results. And, uh, well, it still looks a bit dirty on camera, but that's because it's wet. The floor is clean. Um, the areas where there's still marks and stuff um, is just... Um, bundles of animal hair and pet hair and stuff so um i have some more right there and whole paper towel of it in the uh garbage can and uh i'm just gonna wait for it to dry a bit before i put anything back and uh see how it turns out there's some spots that need to be soaked um namely those two right there um I, I could not get those out and um, enough while they would have gone away pretty soon. If I did a few more, it goes with the carpet cleaner. It's very hard on the floor. I would have rather just soaked it and then used a hand held or a paper towel or something and finished it that way. But that's done. Time to rest and uh, spend some time on YouTube and uh, then figure out how to put things back without... To be honest, I might even have to use my heat gun, which I'm not doing because, I, again, I don't want to get too hot. But, I uh, might have to put a towel in certain areas so I can put stuff down without, um, you know, mildewing the carpet or, any, or damaging it from that. But, other than that, it's finally done. It works great when the vacuum's clean. Um, yeah. Now I'm exhausted. I'm surprised my snake hasn't woken up. Mm -hmm. Like, seriously, he hasn't come out. He always comes out for that, but I know he's probably a bit dry and all that. It's only going to be another day or so. Trust me, it's not intentional that you're just drying out. He's not dead. He's not dying. He's just, you know, uncomfortable at the moment, so. Yep. Okay, so after two hours with on the phone with Vortex to pass by the time and soaking one of those to make all of that. Um, not kidding. Um, I am about to refill the tank. Um, still looks a bit dirty, but it's, it's not stuff that I can really get off. I, I, I tried to get the rest of it off. I actually got a lot more off than I thought I was going to, so. Hopefully, he will be back in his tank because he's going between I don't want to be condensed anymore, um, because he's been in here for three and a half weeks straight, not getting out of the tank at all. So he does not want to be hidden. But at the same time, he's getting stressed out really easily. So it's going to take some time to walk him back through the process. But a nice new bed should help. Okay, so I have sacrificed the pizza boxes up there. I have cut them to the correct um, half diameter. Plus a bit of um, burn resistance room. Not that um, the bigger one needs it. Because the bottom of the lamp base is actually cool almost it's almost barely warm at all so i'm not really worried about that um i'm gonna sacrifice the cardboard though because we can always get more pizza boxes and um i want to see how well it keeps the humidity in because that's why the thing is getting put on it um i'm gonna set up the humidifier in the top corner right there and uh we'll see how this all works out um it will be very closely monitored. But if I can pull it off, I'm going to pull it off. Okay, so my headphones died for the Xbox while I was playing The Division. So I am going to attempt to start cleaning these headphones. They look much cleaner in camera than they do. Probably because of the white contrast because this cutting board is not that bright. I wish it was. But this room does not have good lighting in it. Um... And uh, we're going to see if those will work. And uh, I'm not planning on using paper towel or anything. Those just happen to be there. But, yeah. I uh, I have some time. So I'm going to try and do that. My blinds are shut. Because I was dusting them. There was a lot. Because they've never been cleaned. Um, except for, I think, when I initially moved into this room. And did my uh, PC build for this guy. But, uh. We'll see how it goes. I hope these things still work. <laughs> 